Howdy folks and welcome back to Scripta Place, the great war mod for Hearts of Iron 4 and play. <laughs> Shortest intro ever. So I've divided our troops, you see them moving. One, France has offered to cede some territory in Cameroon in exchange for our recognition of their control of Morocco. It's even Schlieffen plan, isn't that a little early? Like, wait a second. I'm pretty sure I saw that in here somewhere. Yeah, there. Oh, that's a different one. 1915 Schliefenplan. No, it's the same event. Schliefenplan, right there. Um, no information on that. Huh. The Kaiser wills it. Yeah, sure. No problem. Uh, do we want Cameroon? No. We want to lose Morocco? We care about Morocco? Morocco. Don't even in. Well. Cameroon. It's down here, right? Yeah, of course that's down here. Um. I don't want to? Why are you still here? Can you not move out of there or what? You are definitely assigned somewhere else. What's your issue? Maybe to find a valid path to target. You, you do have a port, you know that, right? You could just go. It's interesting. You know what? You get your own offensive line. Here, have fun. Um, you are assigned there. And you're gonna conquer Africa. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Get that. It's also new Cameroon. Is there anything here? Nothing that we don't already have. We want to go to war right now with France. I, the thing is, if we go to war with France, we go to war with the whole Entente, right? Okay. Australia. Bhutan? Really? There's Russia, by the way. British Raj. There's a lot of things that would want to hurt us. I don't really care about this or this, except for the manpower that they're gonna throw at us. I no, it's too early. So we got that. Whatever we lost. Alright. It's, it's cool. For now. At least. Mona Lisa has been stolen. Yep, that's a historical event. That's stuff that happens. So, back to topic. Um, we do have armies. We do have different theaters. That's the Western Theater. You don't have an offensive line yet. You're gonna push this line. Secret lines with Romania is done. Perfect. Doesn't really give us anything, though. So you can go down here. We can't get this, obviously, because it's mutually exclusive, which means we can't get that research bonus there. Fine with that. Little power, civilian factories, definitely not bad. Where? In Hanover. That's where I come from. Um, it's for 420 days. I do want to get this out of the way. 360 days malus, 420 days bonus. Bonus is only on core territory. That doesn't really help us, except for Africa. <laughs> Huh. All this doctrine research times. Vision organization. We can't really go to war then for a while, which, you know, world tension isn't that high anyway, so you know, let's let's just do it. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, what do we want? Navy? Chief of the same? Submarine specialist? Sounds like a German thing. Doesn't give you anything except experience gain. Ugh. Ugh. Better. That's good. That's only 10% to convoy raiding. This is a lot of percentage to everything. Armor, attack. So it's capital ships, our battle cruisers, and screens, our destroyers, which is what we're currently producing. Um, not there. Here. For our fleets. I actually split them up and renamed them. We have the Kaiserliche Hochseeflotte. 
right now, the High Seas Fleet, number one and two, they're pretty much the, the same composition. And we have our submarines, the German U-boats, U-boat Flotte 1. And uh, production goes straight to these fleets. We have battle cruisers for each fleet, uh, destroyers for each fleet, and submarine for, well, the submarine fleet, obviously. We're doing some convoys, which we always need, so no need to worry about that. We're not producing any dockyards, we can't, because we're currently producing uh, a lot of this stuff. And a little bit of this stuff. I rearranged them. I like to have those with the smaller numbers on top, just because if I complete... Well, let's put it this way. If I have this on top, that's four it needs to produce, right? So it's four uh, runs it has to do. This only needs to do two runs and then it's gone. At the same time, it can do this and it's gone. So this will free up two slots in two runs um, through, well, however much time you need to do one of these. That will give us two new slots. So we advance further down the queue faster. Of course, the more down we get here, the further down we get, the, the longer we are stuck with one thing. But that will leave us with like these three and the other three factories can already work on these and get these out of the way. If you just have these on top then you stay there for ages until you get here. So that might help. There you go, Republic of China comes into existence. Yeah, the Xinghai Revolution. So basically what happens is um, there was an uprising. We now do have a small Chinese Republic. And it looks like they will lose, and take my word for it, if this is historical, they will not. They will take over the whole thing. Branching battalions, nice. So what are we going to go for now? Static defense or mobile defense? More soft attack, organization, and division speed. Or hard attack, organization, reinforce rate, less speed. And we're going to go for tanks anyway, but as long as they don't have tanks, we don't need the hard attack. You do need them towards um, bunkers and stuff, I believe. But this overall is better. We're going to go down this route. We also should get some, some national focus to speed that up soon. I don't mind. We get it for the, for the higher ones in the tech tree. It's good as well. Alright, so we have four different armies set up. This is still our field marshal, and these have their own generals. Wow, lag. I know von Galwitz. Don't know the others. Well, I'm not that much into the army type of deal. You can ask me more about the navy. That's that's why I've been. That's why I spent my time. Uh, that's too early. 700 days, you've got to be kidding me. We do have submarines, might as well, huh? Uh, it's 1911, so nothing unlocked for another four years, five years, four and a half years. You might as well go through with all the things. Why not? Not training anything currently, because we're still working on this. Look at that. Wow. Need more military factories. <laughs> Fast. Um, I'm going to switch you there. For now, I've already put in a new uh, production line. Just need the factories for it, really. Obviously, the resources. What do we need for that? Coal, steel, tungsten. Steel, sure, tungsten. Ugh. Coal is not an issue. We have the, the Ruhrgebiet over here. That should be enough coal. Oh yeah, look at that. Right here. That's where our coal is. Can't lose that, otherwise we're doomed. Somebody declare war on somebody? Oh, that's interesting. That is done. Perfect. Uh, we're down to 1% world tension. That's interesting. Do we want to go through here? That says Lorraine. That's another thing. We'll going back to that in a second. Also the forts. That's preparation for defensive war. Civilian. Yeah, give me a civilian factory. Sure. I can get civilian factories over here if I want. Somewhere. Um, hmm. Okay. Might want to get into this now. Infantry weapons. Still a little early, right? Support weapons. Yep, we're gonna go down here. 
I'm gonna go anti-French, I'm pretty sure, soon. I wanna put anything down there in Africa. I'm not really defending it anyway. I wanna get the Russians on my bad side just now. This is, this is, I don't know. I don't know. That would give us a nice bonus. I don't need that really. Need that. So we want to go through here. Actually, research slot and all of that. The sooner we get that, the better. Let's go down there. Oh, why? So, SS Lorraine. That's well, done. Yeah, you do that. Fight peace with the Ottoman Empire. Interesting. Uh, Ultimate was presented to the Ottoman government through Aust Austrian intermediation. Uh, the Ottomans replied with a proposal of transferring control of Libya without war. So that war is done. Good note. Can I talk now? Can we go down to three here so I can talk? Do you want me to talk or do you just want to watch the game? <laughs> That's a hard question, I know. Uh, okay, let, let's go down, go up to four and then I still talk. So we have Elsass Lorraine, which is over here. Germans call it Elsass Lothringen. This is one of the um, territories or the territory that uh, Otto von Bismarck, German Chancellor, in his unification wars got when he made the French surrender. It was yeah, well, one of the wars they fought, right? And uh, they don't really like that. They want this territory back. And there is a focus tree item that gets them that back. Same as we just had with the morocco Cameroon thing. This is also the only territory right now where we can put up trenches. Well, where we already have trenches. That was professional. That was my mobile. Um, hmm. This is well defended, right? This this is going to become the Maginot line. Currently it's ours. I mean, they do have some forts here. They're working on it. They they see our troops. They actually have... Is, is that? Four? Cannot be because... Yeah, can we, can we? Yes, they do have a four and they do have a trench. Interesting. So that, that will be hard. Right. Um, we can give them that back, so why would I want to build infrastructure there if I give that back to them anyway? But I don't really want to give that back. So, oops, we're gonna have some fun there. We'll see. See what happens. Uh, you don't really feel like it. Who are you? You're that guy. Yeah, well... Wow, 78 troops? South Pole reached. Nice. Ooh. That's a lot. I mean, we can hold it with 24 troops with all the defenses we have, but ugh. You want to build that up? Want to put some effort in here? We already have 6 out of 10. And the Hinterland, 6, 5, 3. They shouldn't be able to push. We should be able to push, if anything. And we're gonna come down here anyway. Probably. We'll see. All right, let's go back up to five, so stuff is actually happening. That might be a good thing to do. Interesting, excitement, all the things. Just switching off my mobile there. I <laughs> have uh, one army up here, in case you want to actually take uh, Denmark. Hmm. Things are happening, this is not really going. Nicely. Reciprocating... Reciprocating engine. Reciprocating... Yes, that's the word. Thank you. Give me that. And uh, now let's have a look how China is doing. See? Told ya. I told ya. Thank you. Uh, where was that? Can't see. Go away. Over here somewhere. Right, so what do we want? More civilian factories or more military? I think we go straight for the free military factories here. We're still producing civilian factories. That's always good to get some more. But I do need to work on that. 1600 days. That's not a good thing. Play, play. Something. 88 days is fine. 300 days. Yeah. Losing some... Oh, right. You should be done now. 
Almost. Don't care about that one division. That's that's the one down here, right? Yeah, you can't really train. You're screwed, man. You're screwed. Might as well just delete you. Well, just stay there. It's fine. Hey, saving up on equipment now. We shouldn't lose that much. Yes, that looks better. Plus. How long? Still 1600 days? <sighs> it's just not going where I wanted to go. Rest looks good. Balkan League. In a surprising move, several Balkan countries, including rival state Serbia and Bulgaria. There. Uh, have come together to form the Balkan League, a military alliance stated to have been built up against Austria Hungary. Though the alliance target is the Habsburgs, which is the Habsburg monarchy ruling the country, you know, it seems far more likely that the state that divides these four nations would be their target. These four nations? Grand Duke William IV dies. It's a Luxembourg guy. Good. Uh, these four? Is the Balkan League? I don't see four states. I have two. Oh, down there. Ooh. That's Greece. So, that would be that. The Ottoman Empire. Interesting. Are you... What are you? Montenegro. Right. Are you in that alliance? Yes, you are. Now that makes sense now. All right, you're going to go down here. Which again, historically pretty accurate. <laughs> How do we do anything against it? Mexico took four stakes. Mexican Republic was annexed. Can I zoom? zoom? So you lost quite quickly there. Yeah, you fled. Well, they moved down south, so they lost their core territory there, I guess. And um, that ended the war quite quickly. So, fleet, you can actually do some stuff here. Sitting around. Uh, convoy escort, convoy raiding. Let's do convoy raiding. Here. Here and here. And then we have the other fleet. Which one is... You are working in the Baltic Sea now. You are stationed over there. Currently, you should be stationed somewhere else. I don't know what to do. Not right now anyway. We don't have... well we do have a port over here. What's that? Work around Italy. Or go directly against England. I don't know yet. We'll just leave you here for now. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Singing of the Titanic. There you go. 16th of April. That happened. Somebody whistle the tune. I can't do that now because, you know, copyright. Infrastructure effort to stop it. So we need that. Sure, to get that. Need dockyards right now. Don't need airfields right now. We do want to get these rather quickly, though, for the Zeppelin. Okay, let's go down here. That is done. It's 1912. It's way ahead of time. Done with that. Still can't do anything here except oil production. Still not a fan of that. Who's still working on this? Seriously. Too early. Working. Too early. Working. Can't do this because it's exclusive, otherwise I would have taken both. Uh, too early. <laughs> too early. Yeah, too early. And too early. Marines. So we need to find something to do, which means we need to find a focus that gives us a bonus somewhere, so it's actually worth it. Right, what are we going to do? I guess we work on the army. Entrenchment, 4% for the speed. Sure, ships, mm. cavalry and motorized, might be good, not just now, but we will change over later. Entrenchment, again, both of those. These are quite good later, in a combination, and then you get that on top. Wow. Attrition? Good. Don't care about all the Navy stuff. 
Let's go with attrition. Sure, why not? Not much happening. The world is at peace. Has been for two years now. It's quite nice. Hmm. Olympic Games in Stockholm. Oh no, that's look at this. That is Air Force, I tell ya. That, that. Should be fine. And technically, currently you're not doing anything. Because otherwise you will have to start and land, and that causes accidents, and that causes us to lose those. So just sit around there for a while. I seize fleet. Capital ship armor upgrade and organization. Nice. Escort efficiency 20% is actually quite a bit. I like it. Nothing up here. Want to get Denmark. Are you core territory? Oh yes, you are. Ooh. International unity. 75%. Serbia declared war on the Ottoman Empire. Here we go. The League of Things <laughs> and stuff. The Balkan League. There you go. Declared war on the Ottomans. That's exactly what I wanted to say. Well, let them go at it. Strategic bombing, 15%. Yeah, sure. Go with that. Oh, we can do this again. Nice. Don't we have Mars on this? Thought we would. This one. Organization, land doctrine, naval doctrine, air doctrine. All right. 6 November, that will take some time. Um, hmm. Anybody in here? Yes, sure, you. Um. Don't need it. We are 100% fascist. That's good. <laughs> National unity. That would give us 100%. That's awesome. I do want one of these. Radar, rocket, and bases. It's definitely good. If we want to go into that, it's also good. Does Landford cover trenches? Then it would be real good, because we're not there yet. Not really. Great deal. Uh, same ideology, opinion. Why are you? Democratic. I do want to flip you over. Why are you? Authoritarian. Um, this. <laughs> Civil War. <laughs> just get them. Or kick them out of the alliance and just they warn them and annex it. Pretty sure that's a good thing. Mm. Can't. War tension, you know. Alright, so that might not be the best thing to do because there's not many fascists on the map. Yeah, what the hell. Get that one. Sure. Not doing much research, but we could use a boost right now. So these three currently are pretty useless. That, yeah, we could. China has won. We got more infrastructure. Perfect. Come on. Over here. Oh, now we wait. need to wait until 1913? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Alright, at least that takes away the decision if we should go down here or not. We could now just get a civilian factory. We have like 80 of those. 107 now, so that one doesn't make a difference. That's not even a percent. Mm, 70 days for 1%? Mm, no, not now. Later to advance. Yes, that's a different story. Uh, air bases? Air doctrine? Might be an idea. Almost just might start with this, or we could go back into politics. So what about this? Uh, Alsace Lorraine, which we want to keep. Over Bayern. It's fine, all right. It's the western flank. Let's do this. Let's let's get Italy into the fray here and see what happens, because then we can attack France. Yeah, sure. That's a good thing. See. 
I get you into faction. Mania is democratic and needs more attention at 100%. Well, we're changing that, right? Not yet, it seems. Where? There. Don't have any political power. Oh, that's right. That actually costs a lot. Five daily. You know what? That That is not a thing that I'm going to do. Wow. Five daily. Are you kidding me? Oh, 0.13%. Okay, that's not going to happen. Romania, maybe. Right, so now we're at that stage where we can't do any more without having a big penalty unless we want to go uh, these. Do we want these? Yes, eventually we do want these, right? Right. Come on. Let's want to do the next one. Little bit. Mm, the Turks seem to win this for now. Well, they're pushing here. Interesting. Rifleman, Premacy. Thanks. All the speed. It's nice to get speed. Although this is a trench warfare doctrine, really. But getting all the speed, that will help us. Is it lag infantry? Did it just say that? No, division speed in general. That's good, because that will help us with tanks and all the other stuff later as well. Awesome. So, we have the first war. War tension is at 20%. We need a 40 to justify war goals, which we are going to do down here, if we can, uh, to get some more territory. Maybe over here. Don't know. Uh, we might have problems with guarantees here. We will find out next episode, maybe, already. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe you know. I don't. <laughs> That's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. See you soon in World War One. <laughs>